and welcome to It's 5 O'Clock Somewhere. This is our monthly Q&A and I bring you a special little video. Now normally I would do the Q&A first and then we'd move on to the video, but I'm going to switch it around this month and we're going to try the video uh, up first. Stick around after that, we will have the Q&A. Uh, we're into February now, so another big month for the channel. I want to say thanks very much for the support we've had so far. I think we're on 220... 50 or something subscribers moving towards that 2300 so that's just great but what I've done for you is I've actually gone out and I've uh, gone to the kitchen and done another recipe so enjoy this video hello and welcome back to the kitchen today on it's five o'clock somewhere I'm gonna prepare a meal and it is called uh, what do we want to call it a chicken bacon creamy carbonara pasta bake a nice easy dish that you can just knock up uh, it doesn't take that long, probably about 10 minutes of preparation time with 20 minutes in the oven. Let it sit for 10 minutes and you're ready to go within, you know, 30, 40 minutes. You've got yourself something delicious that you can knock up. So what you're going to need is uh, some chicken breasts, um, some bacon. You're going to need yourself an, a brown onion, some cheese, uh, some pasta. I've just gone for some macaroni and uh, some thickened cream. And we're also going to need... Uh, a bit of crushed garlic and uh, if you're that way inclined you can add some herbs and that sort of thing to it uh, but just to start off all we want to do is uh, take our chicken get it out slice it all up uh, same with our bacon and our onion get it all ready to cook so uh, I'll chop away and we'll see you shortly right so I've put a pot of water on there ready to do the pasta that's bubbling away and we're ready to add our macaroni Make sure you add a little bit of salt to the water as well, just to you know stop it from sticking and, and keep that breaking up and give it a little bit of flavour. I'll give that a little bit of a stir around just to help it start bubbling up again. I've also got a pan over here with a bit of oil in it ready for us to start cooking our chicken. Uh, I'm going to actually chuck the onion in first. So I just put the onion in a little bit of a processor there just to get it a little bit finer. So that can go in there first. Just sweat that onion down a little bit until it starts getting a little bit of a brownness and, and soften down. We'll get our chicken and bacon in there and start cooking that off as well. So you want a relatively high heat so you can cook this chicken off. Uh, nothing worse than not cooking chicken properly and you're all getting fucking sick. So uh, yeah, just stir it around, make sure that it's all got rid of all that pink and it's starting to cook away. Once you're happy with the chicken being sealed, then you can add your bacon and uh, cook that off a bit longer. And then we'll go ahead and add our garlic to this mixture. Right, so this is our chicken. Uh, I've just got the eye for it now, so you can have a quick look at what's going on here in the pan. So it's just started to, uh, you know, get rid of that pinkness. We've gone to a pretty white in color. The onion's sweating down nicely with it. Um, We've got the macaroni over there just bubbling away nicely, so that's going to take a little while to cook, but hopefully that's ready by the time we finish this lot. And now we're ready to add our bacon. Right, so I've just diced up the bacon nicely. Have a look at that shit. And just stir that in now. I'm going to try and get a bit of crispiness to this before it goes into the, uh, the pasta bake. Right, so I'll let that cook away and uh, we'll be back shortly. All right, when you're kind of happy on how the chicken and the bacon's looking, it's starting to get that uh, little bit of brownness to it. Just add about a tablespoon of garlic. Well, maybe not a tablespoon, but you know, a good two, three or four cloves, just to give it a bit more pop. Just mix that through as well. Once you're happy with how everything's looking there, we're gonna add some uh, thickened cream, about, about 400 mils uh, in there. And just stir that through. So your cream and everything's in here now. This is pretty much the base of your pasta bake. And you just want to let that sort of almost come back to a boil, but you don't want it to start clagging up like glue or anything. So just keep an eye on it, give it a bit of a stir through. 
and uh, let that do its business. Our macaroni is just about ready, so we'll pull that off and strain that shortly, and we'll be ready to put this pasta bake together. Right, now we're ready to put our pasta bake together. So what I like to do is, uh, we've drained off our macaroni, and that goes in first. Then grab your carbonara mix. Pour it on top. Get all that good cream and everything out of the pan, all them juices and flavors. Right, then you just want to sort of mix it through just to get a nice combination of pasta and bacon and chicken so that it's all thick and creamy. So just mix that through nice and easy. Don't fucking spill any out of the bloody dish or all over the floor or make yourself a fucking mess. It's just nice, nice little massage here. Pasta, macaroni. And then sort of just once you've sort of worked it through, just sort of pat it down a little bit, flatten it out, because we still need to add another layer on top of all of this. All this deliciousness. All right, so there's our pasta bake. Now I'm just gonna grab some cheese and absolutely coat the fuck out of it. Uh, scissors will help. So I've preheated the oven to uh, about 180. Celsius, I'm sure that is in Fahrenheit. You'll have to work that one out yourself if you're uh, that way inclined on whatever that fucking measurement is. But just coat the shit, of, shit out of this. Put all that cheese on there. Use your fingers. Give it a good coating. Spread it all over. Also like to uh, just grab a little bit of cracked pepper. And just give it a little bit of a work over the top just for a bit of pulp and flavor. All right, so this is gonna take about 20 minutes to cook in the oven. Um, I'd usually just put a bit of elf oil over the top for the first 10 minutes just so that I can uh, keep that heat in and, and get all, all enveloped. And then after 10 minutes, you wanna take the elf oil off so that top of that cheese can crisp up and brown and be really, really nice. Right, so that's ready to go in the oven. I'll chuck that in, let it cook away, and we'll be back with the final product. Right, so 20, 25 minutes in the oven. I uh, just bumped it up to 210 there for the last five minutes just to give that top a bit of extra crunch. Uh, I'll see if I can lift it up without burning me fucking hands off. But, uh, good look at that. Fucking delicious. Then just uh, set it aside, just let it sit for about 10 minutes just to rest so that it can sort of settle. If you pulled it straight out of the oven and tried to serve it up, all that cream would just slide out the bottom and you'd just end up with a whole pile of slop. But well, let's see if we can get this fucker out. And there we have it. Creamy bacon, carbonara, pasta bake. Fuck, if you enjoy that, let me know how you go if you manage to make it yourself. Mmm, delicious. See you next time. Right, so hopefully you enjoyed that one and hopefully you get in the kitchen and have a red hot crack at that yourself. And uh, well, let's just get into this q and I've just got a beer here, Carlton Dry. And uh, we've got a lot of questions to get through. Thanks very much. I will go and answer every single one of them because I do love to do this. Uh, let's get straight into it. The first one comes from Scott McMulkin and he says, if you could do anything with a Vegemite, what would you do with it? Well, you know, I'd put it on toast. Jake Petrus Head says, are you a fan of V8, the supercar series, and which driver do you support? Don't really follow the V8s, but I am a Holden man. Uh, I occasionally watch the old Bathurst, but that's about it. Bamber Striker 9 says, if you could be any other nationalities besides Australian, what would you choose? Good question. Why would you want to be anything other than Australian? Callum Ferris says, how much beer did you have on Australia Day? Oh, pfft. Fuck knows, copious amounts, can't even remember. Rodolfo Riguez says, what are your plans for future series? Uh, haven't really thought that far ahead, I just take it as I go. We've got obviously the two FIFA, the NHL on the go. We do five o'clock somewhere once a month. I've got some golf courses that I'm getting through. Uh, so once all of that sort of wraps up, maybe there'll be another Let's Play. There'll definitely be some more FIFA series. I may bring back the relegation, regen, rebuild. Not too sure yet. Pergamon says, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the career mode in FIFA 16? Hmm. 
Well, I'm sick of the scripting bullshit, but I am enjoying the game this year. Uh, still waiting for that standout player in the uh, Knots series. Hopefully, they show their face pretty soon. Uh, Shop Ham says, what's your favorite football team in the BPL? That'd be Arsenal. Benjamin Hislop says, what inspired you to do YouTube? Cutsy Gaming, SGH Sports, Bama Striker 9. If you don't know who those three guys are, go and check them out. And we've got a shitload of questions here from Maddie Wiggins. She says, do you have any children? No. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes. Would, do you work from home? Oh, what do you do for work and income? I'm a drafty, I draw houses for a living. Do you have any cats or dogs? No. Uh, no pics, unfortunately. What's my real name? That's for me to find out and you to find out. Favorite food? Beer. Do you have any other language other than English? No. What are your thoughts on a kebab? Fucking delicious. Do you know Gordon Ramsay the chef? Yeah, he's an animal. What's your favorite beer? We'll go with Carlton Dry today. And make and model of car do you own? At the moment, a Volkswagen Golf 1997. It's a piece of shit and I'm hoping to get rid of it shortly. And what do you short series on Far Cry Primal when it's released? Fuck knows. Haven't even looked at it. Jeez Legend says 2.3k inbound and well deserved. Thanks, mate. And uh, for a question, more of Australian New Zealand teams were suddenly inserted into FIFA 15, 17, should I say. Uh, would you do a career mode on them? And would you aim to do one with them? Um, you know, the A-League, it's okay, but it's, you know, I like doing youth series. I like bringing teams up from fucking nothing. And, and the A-League, there's only obviously the A-League. So if they did put a sub-league in below that, then I may look at it. But other than that, probably not. Pergamon says, do you know any clubs in the Swedish league? Nah. Lee R says, have you ever thought of doing a youth series with an Australian team? Ah, uh, I've, I've thought about it, doing it on my own. Maybe, maybe as a journeyman series, we could probably think about it. But other than that, there's not really a lot of point. Mr. Baxi says, here's a question. Can you give a shout out to my girlfriend? No worries. Hello, Mr. Baxi's girlfriend. And uh, what age did you start watching football? Well, if you're looking at football in respect to uh, the round ball, probably not until my early teenage years. But if you're looking at Aussie Rules football, probably since I was four or five. TZ says, why is such a legend? Because I drink beer. Isaac Wilscock says, what's your opinion on Pez? Well, I haven't really had a good play of it. I've probably spent two or three hours having a bit of a, uh, what do you call, you know, just a, just a rough crack and... It's definitely different, but I do prefer FIFA because of all the licensing and, and that kind of shit. Adam, the NHL FIFA Gamer says, what's your favorite football team in soccer and should do foot drafts as well? Well, I've already answered that and it's Arsenal in the BPL. Uh, I do like Fiorentina and uh, we'll go Real Madrid. And I don't really have a German team at the moment. Uh, Perth Glory, um, New York Red Bull, because Thierry Henry went there and uh, that's about the extent of my knowledge so far. And foot drafts, not really keen on ultimate team shit. Patrick says, if you're forced to leave Australia by whatever reason, where would you go and why? I'd go wherever the fastest internet is and then I could travel somewhere cheaply, i.e. anywhere in Europe, uh, possibly Sweden. Deadly Om says, how do you, long do you plan to maintain the Knot series and possibly do a youth edition career in France, Italy, or Germany instead? Knots will finish once we win a Champions League. Um, unless we pick up the Ivory Coast job, then I may turn it into a Road to the World Cup sort of series, but that hasn't come along yet. And as for a youth edition career mode in one of those other countries, it's a high possibility uh, I will put out a vote later on once these series have sort of wrapped up. Reese O'Donnell says, what's your favorite place to go and eat? Hmm. Like a bit of cheeky Nando's. GR Jones 83 says, do you like rugby? And if they make a new rugby game, would you do a series on it? Rugby doesn't really interest me in the slightest um, league or union. Uh, I will sit down and watch it because I do enjoy sport. But uh, as for doing a series, probably not. Henrik Van New Amarogen. Hopefully I pronounced that fucking correctly. No idea. Do you like the Dutch league? Uh, haven't really watched any of it. Yeah, I don't really know a lot of the teams. I know Ajax are a pretty decent team. So we'll, uh, we'll go with them. Uh, Alonzo says, what's your favorite player of all time? Probably Dennis Burkamp. Uh, at the moment, I still enjoy watching Theo Walcott. He's, he's unbelievable. Patrick says, sushi or steak? Steak. And then the boss says, what team do you support and how tall are you? I've already said Arsenal and a couple of other ones and I'm six foot three and a half. Do the Taran says, do you know any clubs in the Czech Sonot League? Didn't even know they had a league. That's awesome. Uh, let me know which team I should support. 
Patrick says, would you rather have a pet koala or a pet kangaroo? A kangaroo, of course. GR Jones again, and he says, did you always have an interest in developing young players in career mode, or is it something that you just do in the series? Now, I've done this for as long as I can remember there being youth stuff, and I've played FIFA every year since God knows when. Um, but as for bringing it to YouTube, that was really because of watching Cutsy, SGH Sports, and Bama Striker 9. Joseph says, do Australians actually drink Fosters? Fuck no, it's shit. Patrick says, would, would you name your pet koala or kangaroo? I'm going to go with Boomer. Just Brandon OK. Have you seen Chef? No. LEFC, favorite movie in 2015. Now, I don't get a lot of time to watch movies. Um, let's go with the latest Terminator. And Aussie Beach Production says, what was the first FIFA that you played? That would be Road to the World Cup 1996. Yes, I am old. And that is going to conclude the Q&A. Thanks, everyone, for your questions. Hopefully, I've answered them uh, nicely for you and you get a bit of an understanding of what's going on here. And that's all we've got time for. Thanks very much once again for tuning in and checking out the channel. Anyone that actually watches these kind of videos is an absolute true fan of the channel, and I do appreciate your time. So thanks very much. I'm Sparring DK. Go and crack yourself a beer if you're of legal age. And we'll see you next time. You have a good one.